The second of two teenagers accused of killing high school classmate Yvonne Mejia went before a Collin County judge today. The judge will decide whether the teen should be certified as an adult to stand trial in the case. Fox 4's Joe Angel Concepcion joining us now from the Collin County Courthouse with the latest. Joe Angel. Well, Heather, a lot of repeated information from last week's trial, but a very different feel in court. Today, we got a chance to see the suspect, who happens to be six foot two. He's very tall for a 16-year-old, and he walked into court. He would not look at his parents. He would not look at the Mejias. He just seemed very serious, and he also looks like he may have lost some weight. He was wearing very baggy clothes, and again, very, very serious. That is a completely different person than what a counselor says that he was when he interviewed him back in March, he told the court that when he was evaluated, he said, quote, if I asked him if he was depressed or suicidal, what I found odd was, odd was he smiled during the interview. He seemed happy, at times laughing. Two mutual friends also took the stand as well. They testified. The suspect told them, we plan on killing someone. Don't say anything if you hear Ivan goes missing. You can't say my name. It's none of your business. A detective from Wiley also took the stand, telling the court there is evidence the suspect created an account on a messenger system to lure Mejia to the back of Wiley East High School. He also revealed that there were two text messages sent to Mejia's brother after the teen was killed. Police say the 16-year-old suspect and his friend, Brendan Bridges, strangled Mejia, then dumped his body by a creek in Garland. The defense spent the day zeroing in on that location. When we talk about uh, how, how the evidence has uh, played out as to the location of this event, uh, the location of uh, actually two, two different scenes, one in Wiley and one in Garland, uh, that we believe that, uh, that, that the way that this was uh, planned out and implemented uh, as alleged shows a, uh, that, that there wasn't really a lot of sophistication or maturity uh, involved in the planning of this. Now, the defense attorney says the suspect would benefit from rehabilitation and treatment offered in the juvenile detention system. She pointed out to police that the suspect has been very cooperative and that the investigation ran very smoothly thanks to the teen. Now, several witnesses are expected to testify within the next few days, including Yvonne Mejia's mother. Uh, the certification trial is expected to wrap up on Wednesday morning. Heather? All right. Joe Angel, live tonight. Thank you.